12 Celebrities Who Work Together But Hate Each Other In Real Life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll look at the 12 celebrities who work together but hate each other in real life. Hope you enjoy it. Before we start, I'd like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Number 12, Ariana Grande and Victoria Justice. For fans of the Nickelodeon series Victorious, it might have come as a surprise to discover that Tori and Kat, Victoria Justice, and Ariana Grande weren't actually best friends in real life. Following the show's cancellation after four seasons, a social media feud between the two stars began with Grand tweeting, Sweetheart, the only reason Victorious ended is because one girl didn't want to do it. She chose to do a solo tour instead of a cast tour. If we had done a cast tour, Nickelodeon would have ordered another season of Victorious while Sam and Kat filmed simultaneously, but she chose otherwise. I'm sick of this BS. Justice tweeted back saying, some people would throw someone they consider a friend under the bus just to make themselves look good. Number 11, Patrick Dempsey, T.R. Knight, and Isaiah Washington in Grey's Anatomy. Isaiah Washington didn't last long in the hospital drama Grey's Anatomy after he got into a fight with co-star Patrick Dempsey. Things escalated when the media found out that he had used a homophobic slur to describe a different co-star, T.R. Knight. Washington's statement forced Knight to publicly come out. Washington's contract was not renewed. Number 10, Nathan Fillion and Stana Kadic. Hard to believe the ABC's most beloved TV couple couldn't stand each other, but it's true. With on-set descriptions like Stana Kadic is an absolute diva or the show is called Castle, not Beckett. It's no surprise that the two were forced to attend couples therapy at one point. Sources say Kadic and Fillion don't speak on set and that it's been going on for seasons now. The co-star drama could be one of the main reasons behind ABC's decision to cancel the show after eight seasons. Number nine, Jennifer Aniston and Jay Moore. In a 2010 interview with Elle, actor Jay Moore took a not-so-subtle jab at Picture Perfect co-star Jennifer Aniston. Though he refused to confirm he was talking about her, he said, Being on the set of a movie where the leading woman was unhappy with my presence and made it clear from day one, I somehow snaked into the leading role. The actress said, No way. You've got to be kidding me. Loudly. Between takes. To other actors on set. I literally go to my mom's house and cry. Not nice, Jen. Not nice. If you think that's rough, these celebrity couples broke up and still had to work together. Number 8. Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey In 2013, Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey both served as new judges on the 12th season of American Idol, and it was a disastrous catfight from start to finish. The constant shade throwing between the two upstaged the rest of the show's contestants and was unsurprisingly the first and last season for both Minaj and Carey. Number 7. Kiefer Sutherland and Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. has been a very vocal about his negative experience working alongside Kiefer Sutherland on 24. I did 24, it was terrible. I hated every moment of it, Prince Jr. said. Kiefer was the most unprofessional dude in the world. That's not me talking trash. I'd say it to his face. I think everyone that's worked with him has said that. I just wanted to quit the business after that. So I just sort of stopped. Number six, Tony Curtis and Marilyn Monroe and Some Like It Hot. When Tony Curtis and Marilyn Monroe were filming the 1959 comedy Some Like It Hot, Monroe was going through some rough times. She was pregnant and her professionalism was dropping considerably. Of course, this led to difficulties with her co-stars. Curtis once said that kissing Monroe was like kissing Hitler, but he now claims that that was sarcasm. Number five, Tom Hardy and Shia LaBeouf in Lawless. The details are fuzzy and so is Tom Hardy's memory of the incident. Shia LaBeouf is rumored to have hit his co-star so hard that Hardy was knocked out. While we may not know exactly how conscious Hardy was, we do know that they both had to be restrained. It's fitting considering the fight happened while filming the Violet movie, Lawless. You have to wonder if LaBeouf was too into his role. Number four, Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp. While their on-screen role called for romance, there was none of that once the cameras turned off between Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp. Both A-listers each had their own opinion of the other. Depp feeling Jolie was a snob and Jolie feeling Depp was a bit of a hot mess. 
Not surprisingly, the pair clashed all through filming the 2010 film. Angelina Jolie's Marriage to Depp also makes our list of the nastiest celebrity divorces of all time. Number 3. Leia Michelle and Naya Rivera What happens when you have a bunch of 20 and 30 year olds portraying high school teenagers? They start acting like them. That sure was the case with Leia Michelle and Naya Rivera on the set of Glee. Clearly, the two didn't get along, but apparently the drama resulted in a major altercation on set, in addition to rumors that Leia Michelle and Chris Colfer were plotting to get Naya Rivera and Darren Chris kicked off the show. In the end, Michelle got exactly what she wanted as Rivera was written out of the show. Number 2. Harrison Ford and Josh Hartnett it sounds like the filming of 2003's Hollywood Homicide was a miserable experience for all. Apparently, co-stars Harrison Ford and Josh Hartnett never made eye contact during the production and continued bickering at one another throughout the film's promotional tour. At one point, Ford called Hartnett a punk, while Hartnett responded calling Ford an old fart. Way to keep it professional, boys. Number 1. Bill Murray and Lucy Liu in Charlie's Angels Bill Murray thought Lucy Liu was a horrible actress, so he called her out in the middle of a scene. She threw punches, and after they were physically separated, they continued to verbally abuse each other. No wonder Murray couldn't smile on set. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button to the channel so that you never miss any of our fantastic videos.